show you. You've always helped Soon Quan, and now our kingdom is huge. That's why we're going to fight that man, Cow Cow. According to Zhou Yu, this Cow Cow is a really mean guy that can't be left ignored. He was really mad. I wonder what happened. I'm not really sure, but anyone who makes my Zhou Yu mad makes me mad too. Let's go, Zhou Yu. Let's do this together. Damn you, Cow Cow. If you had just spoken of your ambitions for the land, I would have ignored you. But you desire more than just the land. My... My beloved Xiao Kiao. Forgive me. I got a little carried away. This has nothing to do with you. Do not worry about it. The next battle shall take place at Chi B. We must support the missions of our fellow officers in order for this strategy to succeed. Let's go, Xiao Kiao. But remember, do not leave my side. This battle has us treading in very dangerous waters. If we are to defeat Cao Cao's army, it is absolutely essential that you complete your missions. Men, this river shall guide us to our future! This time we'll face our enemy with fire. Follow Zhou Yu's instructions and bring home a victory. Stand your ground until their offensive subsides. I'm invincible as long as I'm not hard to use. <laughs> this won't be easy. It's over already. Come back later and try again! My might was not enough! This is tough. Why not knock down the bridge? The battle's ours if we seal off the central route.
this how I'm to meet you again? I'll come back later and try again! Horses! Damn. It's over already. Come back later and try again! We're taking down the bridge! Withdraw at once! Aha! Start preparing the fire ship! What? The path is blocked? Send out a ship and resecure it! That went quite well, if I do say so myself. But this battle is far from over. Now, the difficult part begins. How about that? That worked, Master Sir Yu. The fire will be twice as deadly if they can't leave. Blocking their roof was brilliant. Left unfulfilled. Come back later and try again! Damn! It's over already. Come back later and try again! I will now commence my prayer for win.
son. Don't think I'll take it easy on you. Promoting enemy forces! You have surpassed my might. Impressive! Come back later and try again! and head straight for the enemy ships. Ah, the wind. Now the time has come. We shall lay our hopes on this wind and have it carry them to the enemy. them! It's time. May the heavens bear witness! This fire burns with the spirit of Wu! Have you come to meet death? Good work! Begin the counterattack! Stay focused on the matter at hand! We're doing pretty good! Our ambitions left unfulfilled. Come back later and try again!
This war has only just begun. I shall show no mercy. Damn. It's over already. Come back later and try again. Yourself. You must have some courage. So, my might was not enough. Come back later and try again. You want to face me? Very well. I could use the exercise. <laughs> on this river. You are! I shall teach you about battle. Visions left unfulfilled. Come back later and try again! You'll never stand a chance against me! Now! Attack! The enemy is weak! Crush them! Xiao Qiao, do not leave my side even for a second! Uh-huh. Nothing will drag me away from you. You and I will be together forever, right, Lord Zhou Yu? Xiao Qiao, let's drive them back! Crush them! Crush them beneath us! My head without a fight. Won't show you be pleased when I can beat you? Now is the time to take the offensive. Take the strength of the world's greatest general. Someday you shall pay for this. Come back later and try again!
The villain Cao Cao and his giant fleet have sunk into the watery depths of Xiangdong. His determination to conquer the land never to resurface again. Victory is ours. The day of a land under Wu is close at hand. These waters shall serve as a battlefield. And word of our exploits here shall go down in legend. A new body, this body. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Xiao Qiao, second daughter of the altruistic Qiao Xuan. Xiao Qiao was especially known for her wit and great beauty. Together with her older sister, Da Qiao, they would be known as the Two Qiaos. The Qiao sisters were placed under the protection of Sun Se during his conquest of Xiangdong. After the battle, Sun Se married Da Qiao, while Zhou Yu married Xia Qiao. The two couples got along very well and the two sisters supported their husbands by helping them on the battlefield. Wu, which had become strong after battling the yellow turbans and participating in the campaign against Dong Zhuo, continued to show its might by defeating Liu Biao at Jing. However, Sun Jian was killed during the battle, and Sun Se became the new ruler. Accompanied by Zhou Yu, Sun Se continued his conquest of the land. Xiao Qiao helped her husband by accompanying him on the battlefield, thus contributing to the expansion of their kingdom. Sun Se died from illness, and Zhou Yu was entrusted with Wu. Xiao Qiao was there to cheer up her bereaving husband and continued to support him in his new duties, both on and off the battlefield. Despite Wu's successful unification of the land, Zhou Yu would be unable to rest. He was now occupied with governing the new land. However, Xiao Qiao was always there to support him. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. I guess now, I have to devote myself entirely to you instead. <laughs> 